and and so and the thing is like for example as i said flow hacking right clear goals is a, is a very powerful flow hack it lowers cognitive load it does a, a lot of stuff and we can talk about the neuroscience of it and why and whatever but people would much rather for reasons unbeknownst to me do something like fast every monday or mm -hmm. right or do like all the millions of those things um have a ketogenic diet, go paleo, like do all that stuff rather than write a daily to-do list and check things off the list and stack it in a, in a specific way so it works with our biology. Because it's not, as I said, nobody's, you're not gonna get laid being like, dude, I got a clear goal list and I checked everything off or novelty is a flow trigger. So I'll give you another example. I have to read a lot of neuroscience textbooks for my job and they're, you know, I really like neuroscience and I really don't mind reading some of them, but they're, they're it's textbook bound. It's same, same difficult, boring slog as anybody reading a textbook. So sure. novelty is a flow trigger. And when we're in flow, learning rates are accelerated. Uh, and there, there's a tremendous amount of research on this. So I will always go to, if I got to read a bunch of neuroscience textbooks, I will check into a hotel, someplace I've never been with a balcony in my room, I don't even care, it, has, it could be microscopically big, that looks out onto a very novel, broad vista, uh, something like mountain ranges or whatever that I've not sure. seen before, or sure. even a public square with cool things in the distance and like just cool people watching, and I will read out there on the balcony because the novelty of the environment is gonna start producing dopamine in my system. I get a bunch of dopamine into my system and it's gonna drive me into flow. I get into flow, my learning rates go up, and by the way, my pattern recognition rates increase. So not only am I gonna learn more, I'm gonna notice more cool details and it's gonna spark more novel creativity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's not super sexy. Again, like that's not yeah. super sexy. There's right. nothing, there, and people want, they want something sexy, they want something that feels like a quick fix. They don't, that doesn't feel like something that's going to produce outsized dividends, right? It just doesn't. Um, it's worse in the 21st century where we really have gotten used to like shiny, shiny, blinky, blinky technological interventions, that sort of stuff. And um, these are just really, really basic, simple, you know, neurobiologically based interventions um, that really move the needle because they get, they get our biology to work for us, right? They're not, you're not trying to there's hack anybody who says like biohacking there's no such thing as a hack right there's no meaning there's no such thing as a performance shortcut sure a good hack i like the only thing that i can think of we like to look for what i call multi-tool solutions in my opinion peak performers are too busy to solve problems one at a time i don't know anybody who's a peak performer who can, who can right who can really do that so what's a great multi-tool solution mindfulness a mindfulness practice a great multi-tool solution why because 11 minutes of mindfulness a day of breath work a day is shown to significantly reduce stress significantly enhance focus significantly increase resilience and emotional regulation these are like five of the biggest determinants in peak performance and by the way the ability to delay gratification a couple of other things it's a single tool very applicable very easy evidence-based, usable by anybody, almost in any circumstance, um, and uh, it's solving like five or six problems that you're gonna have to solve anyways on the way to peak performance. So go for a solution, and I don't even do, so I, don't, I also, you need an active recovery protocol. If you read Art Impossible, we talk about having at the end of your day, not passive recovery, active recovery. Active recovery is like restorative yoga or mindfulness, uh, breath work, uh, a long walk in nature. Uh, I like an infrared sauna and I like an infrared sauna for a lot of different reasons. One, massive boost to your immune system. Two, lowers cortisol automatically. It's one of the few things that will de-stress you automatically. It's amazing. And I do a very specific breath work protocol. I like, I, that's what I do my mindfulness, but I have a specific kind of protocol I use that trains up four or five things that I need to train up on a you know, almost on a daily basis. So I sandwich it all together. So I've got my active recovery protocol and uh, inside of it, I've tucked my breath. Another multi-tool solution 
So those are the kinds of tools I look for. I look for things that I can integrate already in my life easily. It already fits into a slot. And I look for things that are going to solve three or four or five problems at once because you know, one at a time is too slow. I'm, I move too quickly to solve problems one at a time. 